Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watch Over Realms video. It is 1347, Wednesday, March the 27th, and Gear Dungeon is here. It's live. It's tough. We're going to go over my initial thoughts, some of the mechanics of the stage, and the first team that I used to clear it. So let's get to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we are going to the gear dungeon. So let's go to gear raid, gear dungeon, stage six. Power of Dominance is currently on. I'm going to do one auto run just to kind of walk through it uh, because I didn't do this enough times to memorize the exact timing and everything right off the bat. So I'm going to do it once with Power of Dominance on, kind of talk about the general, uh, how the team works, and then I'll turn it off and I'll try and do it, you know, step by step. And then on the back end, I will show everyone's gear. So let's do that first. Let's do an auto fight. Background fight is turned off. Let's start this. Okay. So, oops, sorry about that. Getting ready to do some cardio. All right. So I start with Vierna. Vierna goes down first, and then Dolores puts invigoration on her, and then Brooke here to aggro from the boss. Okay. So Vierna first, then Dolores then Brook here, all of it before the boss attacks the first time because the boss targets defenders, so you got to get a defender down pretty quick, okay? Um, next champ to go down is going to be Elowen for heals on Brook here and Rage Regen. Next champ to go down is going to be Demi, okay? Um, now, at this point... Uh, I'm going to ult with Elowen. I'm going to keep Brokir alive. I don't want him to use his unyielding effect yet. Once the group on the left starts to move, once they get one square past the, I don't know, the toppled over tower thing, um, that's when I'm going to ult with Dolores and Demi. So ult with Dolores and Demi there. And then I also ult with uh, Brook here so that he doesn't die. And then uh, now I'm waiting for Brook here to take a shot from the boss. Once the boss targets Brook here, once he sends that, um, now I'm going to use Vierna's ult to uh, execute this entire first mob. After the mob is executed, I place Cerberus down in... Dolores range, and then Valk goes up top. Once Cerberus has his ult ready, I'm going to ult with Cerberus, I'm going to ult with Dolores, and then they can take out the second wave on the bottom left. For Valkyrie up top, I'm going to wait for Gwendolyn. Um, I, put, I put Gwen uh, and Invig for an extra 10% on Valk, and then... I ult with Gwendolyn either, um, and no matter what, since she's right next to Valk, Valk's going to get a big shield that she can then um, draw from to uh, attack the folks in the top left. Cerberus, since I have time for him to ult and get the extra attack boost from Dolores, he can take out the second wave by himself. I'm keeping Brook here alive the whole time. He's my only tank. He's my only... Whoops, that's not what I want. Cancel. He's my only tank. He's my only aggro from the boss. I actually, you can see here, um, I placed Comet there. Because like I said, I didn't, I didn't do this run enough times to really figure everything out. Um, so I actually placed him there thinking that I might use him for DPS on the next waves on the bottom. I wasn't sure. Um, but those archers that come from the middle left, they will target that second tile, but not the tile that Gwendolyn is in. All right. So you can't use that one. So he's just going to die here. Same thing here. Um, Brooke here is staying alive. And for the top side, we're waiting for Gwendolyn to ult to give a big shield to Valk, and then Valk will ult to take out the top mobs. Same kind of timing, though. Once uh, the bottom left mob starts moving, once they're about a tile beyond that toppled thing, right, that's when I ult with Dolores, and it's when I ult with Demi to do damage and anti-heal. 
right? And then once uh, once the the wave takes some damage, then I'll ult with Vierna to finish them all off. Ult with Vierna, finish them all off. Same thing. Valk did her job up top. There's three main waves, right? We're trying to get through, and um, right now I'm waiting. Right, I'm waiting for Valk to get her ult. Gwendolyn ult, Valk ult, final wave, same thing, uh, down bottom. So I started off, I did Vierna and Demi for the first wave, and then I did Cerberus, and then I did Vierna and Demi, and now I'm using Cerberus. For the bottom wave, I ult with Dolores and Cerberus. It takes out that bottom wave. Valk has one final wave up there. Easy peasy. And obviously, like I said, Power of Dominance was turned on for this one. Um, just so that I didn't mess anything up in the first initial run and I could talk through how I did it. Um, I think I think this could be done a lot easier, a lot more accessibly. I just I haven't had time to dig into it yet. Um, so that will be the next goal. Let's sell stuff that I don't care about. Awesome. So let's complete that. And then I will now I'll go through the whole thing. Let's turn power of dominance off. Fight. Now, um, I've got elder here. You don't need elder. You could use a sold. You could do Hars. Um, but uh, a lord for Valk up in the top really, 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 really helps. Okay. And then I didn't use Comet and uh, Cerberus. That's who I used. I used Cerberus. So this is this is the team that I used. And uh, so let's just do the initial run the way that I did it. And then we can go from there. So Vierna goes down first. Dolores next. Dolores is in, in Invigoration. Whoops, broke here. Get your tank down to draw aggro from the boss. All right. Um, Dolores is in Invigoration to give an extra 10% attack to Vierna. Elowen's going to go next. Elowen is there for heals on Brokir because he never moves the whole time. I keep him alive. I cycle ults. I keep him alive the whole time. And also she gives Rage Regen to everyone because we need to ult a lot on this stage. Let's pick it up to two times speed just a little bit because the next one to go down is going to be Demi. I bet... Now that I'm doing this, right, I bet since I'm not using that right side, because that's why I initially placed Demi there. I thought I was going to use her for the for for the right side also. Since I'm not using her there, I bet if I swapped her and Vienna, if I swapped their placement, um, I bet this this exact team would be a lot easier. But we'll play with that later. So let's ult with Elowen. Let's keep Brooke here alive. Right side is moving. Let's ult with Demi and Dolores. Ult with Brook here so he doesn't die. Boss attacks. Let's use Vierna's ult. Get Cerberus down. Get Valk down. Get Gwendolyn down. Holt with Cerberus. Holt with Dolores. Holt with Gwendolyn. Holt with Valk. Alt with Brook here since we can, just so we don't mess around. Elder's not used. Um, I'm sure there's a variation where he could be used, but this was just my first run through. If I can get this. Oh, oh, oh. Valk. Yeah, you got it. That's right.
If I can get this without power of dominance the first time after doing it as little as I did, I'm going to impress myself. Pull it with Gwendolyn. Pull it with Valk. Once, um, if you don't have Gwendolyn, right, because she was an exclusive during Christmas, you can use Vortex here. Um, put him in a spear, in a, a tumultuous horn so that he can ult faster and he can give shields to Valk also. Waiting for the next wave. There we go. Once they're about a block past, ult with Dolores and Demi. Ult with Brooke here, just so we don't play around. Let them take a little bit of damage. Ult with Vierna. There we go. And now I need Cerberus back on the board. Gwendolyn, Holt with Valk. I Holt with Dolores, Holt with Cerberus. Come on, come on. There we go, just barely. Holt with Brokir, so we're not messing around. If you're uncomfy here, you could ult with Vierna, but uh, Cerberus did that on his. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Well, I knew something was bound to go wrong. Everything was going too good <laughs> for the first run. Oh, man. That's embarrassing. Really? Really? There's no way for me to save that. Okay. Um, so I went through the whole run. Um, the only thing that I wasn't paying attention to, right, up top, uh, Valk started to die. Um, if I would have just placed uh, the little wood elf there. I tell you what, I'll do it again. I will cut to that part in the video so you don't have to watch the whole thing. And, uh, and we'll pick up at the last five monsters. What the heck? Let's do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We have the last five here. Valkyrie's taking him out, right? She didn't die from that last one. This one, uh, I didn't need to keep her alive like I would have on the last one because... Gwendolyn actually put her main shield on her and it was bigger and so she just ate through the last wave so I mean there's a little bit of variability here but let's uh ult with Gwendolyn there we go it goes on Valk Valk does her ult and she eats this last wave before they get to her so I mean those were the last couple seconds that uh that I messed up on the last run so that's the run that's the initial run like I said I'm sure I'm sure there's more accessible ones um but I didn't, I didn't watch anyone else's videos. I was, I was super stoked to like have a new problem to solve. So I came in here blind and, uh, and so that was the first one that I came up with after, you know, about an hour or so of, of fiddling around. So let's go to the gear now and we'll go over that. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, I'll work on making better teams for everyone. So Vierna, we have a broken set. 15k attack, uh, yeah, 500 attack speed. She attack speed doesn't work on Vierna. This was a set that I literally just I just swapped from someone else. Um, crit capped, 314 crit damage. Uh, max promotion tier of Twilight, max skills. She is awakened five. Valk max skills awakened three. Uh, max promotion frigid flame. She's in an Infernal Roar, 15k attack, 376 attack speed, crit cap, 342 and a half crit damage. Cerberus is in um, Ageless Wrath, 18.5 attack, 364 attack speed, crit cap, 405 crit damage. He's Awakened 5, he's max skilled. Uh, he has, uh, I don't even know why that's on him. Whatever. Um, 
a little extra crit damage there. Uh, next on the team is going to be Demi. Demi's in a max tier of Twilight. Skills are not maxed. She's... N oh, she's Awaken 1. Infernal Roar. 13.5 attack. 4.18 attack speed. Crit cap 380.5 crit damage. So the thing that she brings to the table, right, the thing that's really important, obviously she's a legendary lord, but her thing, she puts out damage and she does anti-healing, right? Because I'm cycling the bottom uh, mobs between her and Vierna and Cerberus. So she puts out uh, anti-healing because the boss has a move that uh, makes the mobs heal themselves when they attack and, and they're basically impossible to, to kill unless you have that. Elowen is in Invigoration. 16k attack, 540 attack speed, 147 healing effect, 74 rage regen. She's in a level 10 euphoric orb, nothing crazy there. Who else was on the team? Brokeer. Brokeer has his exclusive. He's awakened one. His skills are maxed. Oh, Elowen's skills are not maxed. And Gear, he's in a Guardian set with 96k health, 9.6k defense, 250 attack speed, 41% rage regen. Gwendolyn is in Invigoration. 37k HP, 305 attack speed. Again, I just swapped this. I, I did not min-max any of this stuff. I just swapped gear from folks that already had them on. Basic level 1 TS Balm. Nothing crazy. So this can be this can be worked on quite a bit. Who else is on the team? Elder, who I didn't use. And then Dolores, right? Which one are you? There we go. It's the one with Keen Wisdom. I've got three Dolores. Uh, Awaken 5, obviously. Skills are maxed, obviously. Invigoration, 12-7 attack. That's all that matters. So that's the team. That's uh, the, the thing that makes it really hard, the couple things that make it really hard, right, is that they have massive, the mobs have massive, massive, massive. I'm going to turn this on, and then we'll do some auto fights while um, I explain kind of the... So the mechanics that make it really difficult, right, are that the mobs don't hardly take any physical damage at all. Um, so you have to use magic damage dealers, hence Vierna, Demi, and Valkyra, and Cerberus, right? Those are my main, those are my damage dealers. Um, I am sure you can do this with Comet. Uh, like I said, I haven't looked at other people's videos yet. Uh, I just wanted to be able to kind of have a new problem to solve. So you have to be doing a lot of magic damage the, because the boss has an ability that lets the mobs heal themselves when they attack, you need uh, some form of anti-healing on the bottom, right? So for anti-healing, you're looking at Lassir, Artemis, or Demi. Those are your options there. You don't have many. And uh, yeah, it's just the, the, the stats are super high. The, the threshold is really high. This was fun. This is, this is not a very accessible team. I get that. But this is the hardest content in the game right now. So awesome, super fun to solve a new problem. I'll start doing takeovers if you want, right? Hey, if you're interested in a takeover, hit me up. Join the Discord. Link will be in the description, right? Um, I'll, I'll start helping folks out, and I'll start working on more accessible teams and, uh, and a way to clear the top without Valk. I'll start, I'll start playing around, right? So uh, thank you so much for your time. I, I really appreciate it. And if you, if you appreciated this, if you liked the video, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, get as many clearing this as possible because Gear Dungeon gives really, really good rewards. All right, thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one.